the peace and not so quiet on the farm. The farm is a place with lots of activity and a variety of noises. Farmers and ranchers are exposed daily to loud noises in their work environment. With these noises come the potential for hearing loss if proper precautions are not taken. Hearing loss develops gradually from a chronic exposure to continuous noise or from a single impulsive exposure. It's important to remember, noise-induced hearing loss is painless, progressive, and permanent. However, most importantly, it's preventable. This video will describe how sound is measured, ways to reduce noise hazards, and how to protect your hearing. Sound is measured in decibels, how loud it is, and frequency, the pitch of the noise. Different items operate at different decibel levels. Normal speech is 60 decibels, and whispering is 20 decibels. A chainsaw has a sound intensity of 108 decibels. So what is safe? Exposure to noise above 85 decibels can cause hearing loss. Hearing protection is recommended when sound reaches the 85 decibel level. A good rule of thumb is that when noise interferes with normal speech communication at about 3 feet, then the noise is approaching 85 decibels. In addition to the decibel level, you must consider the length of exposure to the noise. That chainsaw, operating at 108 decibels, would only take about two minutes of exposure to cause hearing loss. An open cab tractor, operating at 91 decibels, would take about two hours of exposure before hearing loss would occur. Think about feeding a barn full of swine. With the squealing and banging of feed boxes against metal stalls, that sound can exceed 100 decibels making it clear that hearing protection is needed. Basically, you take the decibel level of the item plus the time you are exposed to that sound which impacts your hearing. There are three ways to reduce noise hazards on the farm. One is the use of engineering controls, which would be to reduce or remove the noise at its source. This is the preferred method. Things like keeping your tractor muffler in good repair, avoiding metal on metal contact, and using the enclosed cab tractor versus the open station tractor. The second way to reduce hearing loss is to reduce the time spent in the noisy environment. However, in many situations, it's impossible and or impractical to engineer the noise out or work less hours. During these times, hearing protection can be worn. Hearing protection is the third way to reduce exposure to the noise hazard. Earplugs and muffs are the best line of defense. Earplugs or muffs can each reduce noise levels by 10 to 20 decibels. These devices can be combined for additional protection. Hearing protection come in many varieties. When selecting hearing protection, keep in mind the type of noise, intermittent or continuous, the comfort, the environment, and if communication is needed when wearing the protection. Earplugs come in pre-molded or in a formable form. To properly insert the pre-molded earplugs, hold the stem of the plug, reach over your head to straighten the ear canal, insert the earplug so that all the flanges are inside the ear, perform a tug test to determine if they fit. For the formable plugs, roll one gently between your fingers. Be sure to wash your hands first. Make sure not to get creases. Reach over your head to straighten the ear canal. Insert and hold for about 10 seconds. Perform the hands over the ears test to check the fit to make sure there is no significant change in noise level. Earmuffs are designed to cover the ear and ear canal. Some have built-in radios as well as electronic circuits to limit the noise but allow you to listen to your favorite radio station or sport. You also can use earmuffs in combination with other safety equipment such as a hard hat or respiratory protection. Earmuffs are good to wear for quick tasks with intermittent exposure like bench grinding or shop work. One caution with earmuffs is for people who wear glasses or have facial hair that interfere with the earmuff sealing surface. Earplugs may be better to ensure proper fit. 
Farmers and ranchers are encouraged to wear personal protective equipment, or PPE, with a noise reduction rating, or NRR, of 25 decibels or higher. For the best protection from your hearing PPE, make sure it fits properly and wear it any time your noise exposure is greater than 85 decibels. People with hearing loss typically answer yes to these questions. Do you have to turn up the volume of your TV or radio to hear it better? Do you have difficulty understanding consonants in words or high notes of music? Do you have trouble hearing a person's voice when they are standing only a few feet away, especially higher pitched voices of women or children? Do things sound muffled after the noise has stopped? Do you have ringing in your ears? If so, you may have some hearing damage. Persons with hearing loss have damaged the hair cells in the cochlea that stimulate the sensory nerves. Hearing loss occurs when these hair cells cannot sense the vibration. While you can never gain your hearing back, you can prevent it from getting worse. An audiologist can perform a specialized hearing test to detect and diagnose hearing loss. Hopefully after hearing this information, you take action to prevent future hearing loss. Know which areas of the farm are noisiest with items producing sound levels higher than 85 decibels. Limit your time near these items. Wear hearing protection when working around loud noises or in a noisy environment for a long period of time. Protect your ears so you can enjoy the sounds of the farm a little longer. <laughs>